Psychometry. Psychometry from the Greek, spirit, soul, and metron, measure, is the ability to read an object's event history. It is like reading the mind of an inanimate object such as clothes, rings, pots, necklaces, or figurines. A person gifted with this ability is able to tell you who made it, what has happened to the subject and what it was used for. Lyle Watson, The Nature of Things A 39-year-old Welsh cook was examined in 1909 by Professor George Henslow, President of the British Association for the Advancement of Science. When Ulwen was handed a piece of earthenware from Cardiganshire, she described a scene in which a woman's body was broken and partly cremated before being pressed into a clay funerary urn which was sunk into the mud of a bog. A year later, the Cambrian Archaeological Association published a description of the site from which the sample had come identifying it as a burial ground and illustrating an urn reconstructed from fragments found in the bog, which was exactly like that Alwyn had described. Objects, Telepathy and People Despite the apparently specialised nature of this skill, it is noticeable that only objects handled by human beings and objects where the contact has been of very high intensity emotionally give clear images to the reader. Perhaps the most famous and gruesome example being that of the Georgia Slave Stone. Lyle Watson, The Nature of Things at the centre of Augusta, Georgia, stands a large, smooth stone over which men are said to have been whipped. It is all that remains of the old slave market that was destroyed by a hurricane soon after abolition in the late 19th century. The city fathers decided to set up the slave stone as a memorial on another site but the first two workers who attempted to move it died the same day of a mysterious poisoning. Two others volunteered the following day, but the stone toppled suddenly and crushed one, and the other died of heart failure. When Jem Thomas, the chief clerk of works, called for further volunteers, there were none. Oh, I'll do the job myself, he said but he had moved the stone only a few feet when the Savannah River burst its banks, flooded the site and drowned three people. Jem caught pneumonia and died a few weeks later. Objects and Crystals One might be tempted to think that stones and bricks, even water as they are crystalline, are acting like a computer storage device. That if the volume, the intensity, is high enough, they are recording things in much the same way a computer records data. This may be true analogously, but it is clear that more than just sights and sounds get recorded. T. C. Lethbridge, A Step in the Dark One of the points 
which seemed to make the greatest impression on E when holding ancient objects was the stink of the dwellings. People in antiquity, except the Greeks and the Romans in the Western world, seldom washed. Although the Celts invented soap, they washed their hair with urine. My old friend, Louis Clark, who ran the Cambridge Museum of Archaeology and Ethnology as a hobby, told me that he had known an old woman who, as a girl, had known another old woman who had been at the French court before the Revolution. Louis's friend had asked her old friend what was the chief difference between life in the Victorian era and her girlhood days. My dear, said the older woman, people do not smell anymore. Again and again, when holding ancient objects, he remarked on the intolerable stench. Psychometry and the Pendulum From T.C. Lethbridge's experiment, he decided that it is possible using a pendulum to determine the sex of the person, male or female, who made or handled the object. T.C. Lethbridge, A Step in the Dark In my last book, ESP, I described how the pendulum appeared to be able to detect traces of the human beings who had made or used various objects. These traces, showing as pendulum rates, survived for very long periods in things which had been deliberately fashioned by man. Elizabethan iron work gave the male sex rate, 24 inches, of the blacksmith who had made it. The rate had persisted for 400 years. Flint implements made perhaps 3,500 years ago also gave male 24 inches or female 29 inches rates for their makers or users. Some conclusions. The observations show time and again that objects with strong emotional associations appear to be more easily evaluated than those with no emotional tone. Objects that have been used during rituals and religious ceremonies. See our video in Acting Ritual and Ceremony. The link is given in the description. Appear to the psychometrist to have much stronger energy patterns. For example, a cross used for many years in a church brings out more pictures and impressions. Metals and gems and crystals, according to the psychometrist, hold energy patterns of events connected with them. Better than other types of material. Paper does not seem to hold impressions that well. On the other hand, letters that carry an emotional charge do hold the pattern of events and are usually easily psychometrized. Letters written with pencil seem to be better objects for psychometry than those written in ink. Dr. Shafika Caragula Breakthrough to Creativity The ring contained a small moonstone in a simple setting. I had had it from my student days it had been given me by a friend, and certainly had very pleasant associations as far as I was concerned. I was doing some experimental work with a psychometrist called Laura. At the end of one of our sessions, I handed her my ring and asked her to give me her impressions. She said, it has belonged to someone else. Was it a present to you? Long before you had it, a man gave it to a woman. 
I want to burst into tears. I feel as though everything is lost. I have lost someone whom I love. Yes, I get the feeling that this ring was given to the woman in a warm country a long time ago. It seems like Persia or maybe India. Before Laura, three other psychometrists had detected the same intense sadness. In conclusion, any object acts like a recorder, but it also acts as a bridge. Thus a pair of gloves, for example, will not only hold the memory of all the people who wore them, but it may act as a bridge to that person, meaning that one can wander all over the loom of perceptions, crossing threads and exploring events. Thus psychometry is the key to exploring group perception, providing the missing knots in the overall tapestry that links numerous lives. T.C. Lethbridge, A Step in the Dark One of the better known facets of parapsychology is the art of psychometry. This is one of the more spectacular functions of the wise woman, or seer. The medium, or as it is now called sensitive, holds some object or other and pronounces information about a former owner of the object which may refer to events either in the past or in the future. Now one's natural reaction is to disbelieve this entirely. It seems completely absurd that anything could be locked up in an inanimate object in this way. In fact, as I described some years ago in Ghost and Ghoul, I thought I had demonstrated that it was not correct. I thought that Although the sensitive clearly had the faculty of obtaining unusual information, yet this was only obtained from the other person's mind by using the object as a link in the process of concentration. What bothered me in the long series of experiments I made with the sensitive, a very good amateur one, was that I frequently detected scraps from my own memories and what appeared to be stories derived from various ancient objects. In one case, the memory was so recent as to have happened in the last half hour. I'm completely unabashed to say that I was wrong in my inferences at that time. It seems probable now that some of the descriptions obtained from the sensitive were just thought reading from my mind. However, the possibility remains that others were genuine impressions from the past, stored up in the fields of the objects themselves. I was right too, I think, to suggest that each object was a link. It was, but not the kind of link I had thought. What happens? The sensitive seems to me and I think I obtained evidence of this to experience the equivalent of a dream when holding an object. There is this tiny cinema film which is evidently difficult to appreciate clearly. But this film, although perhaps more often representing scenes far back in the past, may at times also show events which have only happened a few minutes ago and others which have not yet happened at the time the statement is made.